guys welcome to my channel yesterday i did a video and posted it up on my channel but it was not a video for my channel it was actually for youth division and i just decided to post it up on my channel so this is an official welcome to my channel welcome to des world if you have ideas of other names that i could use for my channel feel free to comment down below the names also subscribe and like this video Share this video with your family, your friends, your friends of friends. Let's help grow the subscribers, y'all. So, my name is Desra Coffee. I'm from the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful village of La Plaine. Hey, <laughs> from the Commonwealth of Dominica. No, not the Dominican Republic. It's the Commonwealth of Dominica. I am Dominican. I don't speak Spanish. No speak Spanish, only English. Okay? Hi. Okay. I am 25 years, you know women don't like to give her age, but anyways, I'm 25 years. I was born on the 24th of October, 1994. What I love doing? Let's get to know about me. I love cooking in my spare time. I don't really like doing anything that much, but I love cooking. I also love being on YouTube, so I'm always on YouTube watching my YouTube couples, which kind of inspired me though to start my YouTube channel. Okay, so today we are doing a question and answer. So, I have 10 questions. Yesterday I posted my Instagram and WhatsApp for people to ask me questions so I could answer for getting to know me. So, I have 10 questions and we are going to go right into this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Yeah. So, one of the questions was, what's your favorite meal? <laughs> my favorite meal is pilau for those of you who don't know what pilau is it's rice and peas and chicken i love me some pilau <clears throat> that's my favorite meal <sighs> how has being a mother changed or impacts your life being a mother has really changed my life because now i have a responsibility everything i do i have to think of my daughter for those of you who didn't know i have a four-year-old daughter so everything i do i have to think of my daughter decisions I have to make I have to think of my daughter I have to put my daughter first in everything before I would just put myself first but now I have to think of my daughter so I just got a little bit interrupted by my daughter while talking about her <laughs> so everything I do I have to think of her now I cannot just go and make decisions like crazy like before like I would so now I have to think of would this be appropriate for JJ you know those kind of things how old am I? I answered that already because I said it in my introduction. How is it raising a curious little girl? <laughs> Jenaya, my daughter's name is Jenaya, by the way. She is very curious. She asks a lot of questions. So I have to be mindful of the things I do and say in front of her because she questions everything. So for example, two days ago, she was eating gooseberry jam for those of you who know what gooseberry jam is she was eating gooseberry jam and i tell her don't swallow the seed and she asked me why who would have thought she would ask me why she's not supposed to swallow the seed like come on so i have to be very mindful of the things i do and say and the kind of when the question she asks i have to know how to answer it sometimes i i just tell her crazy things because <laughs> the quest, kind of question she asked me for four years where, next question, where do you see yourself in the future? <clears throat> I also had another question asking, where do you see yourself five years from now? So it's the future, right? So I put those questions together. In the future, I see myself doing what I always wanted to do in life, my career, what, what my career is. But because I had my daughter at a very young age, it kind of came in between that. And right now, I think she needs me in this stage of her development now. She needs me. So I don't want to be focusing on school or whatever the case may be and then focusing on her. So right now I want all my focus to be on her. So in five years from now, she'll be big enough to handle, not handle herself, but to have less of my time because now she needs all my attention. So in five years from now, she will need less attention from me and I will be able to do what I have to do. But I see myself going back to school and doing what I always wanted to do. I hope this answers your question. Are you social or stuck up? What do you think? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I appear to be stuck up because people say I always have a serious face. All right? And I don't think so though. But anyways, 
getting to know me once you get to know me you will know that i'm a very nice person down to earth humble individual i am not stuck up i am very social as my friends will tell you i hope this answers your question what or who means the most to you like i just told you all i have a daughter she is my whole world so she means the most to me and also my grandmother I love both of them to death. My daughter cannot take my grandmother's place in my heart, and my grandmother cannot take my daughter's place in my heart. So they mean the most to me. That is who. Now, what means the most to me? Family means the most to me. I am a family oriented person. I love my family. I will do anything for my family. So, family means the most to me. What were your first thoughts when you know or realize you were pregnant? <laughs> oh, hell no! When I realized I was pregnant, boy, boy, I say what? I was disappointed. So I call up my cousin and I text my cousin and I tell her I have disappointing news. No, that I didn't know that yet. So I was disappointed. So I say, what am I just going and think about that and whatever, whatever. That's what I was saying. When I took the test and I knew I was pregnant, I said, wow, I'm so disappointed in myself. My aunt is going to be disappointed in me. Blah, 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 blah. So I text my cousin, I tell her I have disappointing news. And then when she asked me what's that, I told her I'm pregnant. She told me that's not disappointing news, etc., etc. And then I came to realize that it wasn't that bad after all because my aunties and them had no negative reaction towards it. My father, my mother, none of them had negative reaction towards it. And they loved my little baby to death. So um, I would not change that for the world i will not change that for anything i don't regret it and i regret being disappointed when i found out i was pregnant actually that's the only regret i have i am not and i don't regret i don't regret having my baby and if i could go back in time i would do it all over again what who's your favorite actor or actress and why my friends watching this comment down below no Who's my favorite actress and why? <laughs> my favorite actress is Hilary Duff, Lizzie McGuire. From a little girl, I always used to watch this show called Lizzie McGuire. I would talk about it all day in school, every day. When I go home, watch Lizzie McGuire. Everything was Lizzie McGuire. I used to ask my aunties in the States to buy me Lizzie McGuire clothes, Lizzie McGuire books, Lizzie McGuire everything. I even remember once I had a Lizzie McGuire jeans. And when it got too small for me, I cut off the Lizzie McGuire design and I had it there. But I don't know what happened to it. Anyways, my favorite actress is Hilary Duff. And why? Because I really like Hilary Duff. She's so humble and down to earth. I used to watch Lizzie McGuire and every movie Hilary Duff acted in. Imagine um, some days ago, I watched A Cinderella Story, which is my favorite movie. That's my favorite movie, and it's my favorite movie of Hilary Duff. So, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you, you guys enjoyed the video. Gina is disturbing me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more videos. Comment down below ideas of what you think I should do. And, guys, don't forget to subscribe and like and share, share, share. Thanks for watching. Bye.